It's podcast day. Let's not forget. Oh, every Wednesday, the Opie and Anthony podcast, a brand new episode. Give you an hour or two. I think this week's is a little longer because uh, we decided to put the uh, Louis C.K. and Penn Gillette on this week's Opie and Anthony podcast. Mm, nice. From last week's show, by the way. So yeah. brand new Louis C.K., brand new Penn Gillette, And that's what you'll get if you download the Opie and Anthony podcast. All right? It's good shit. You know how to do that yet, people? Hope so. I just uh, I just retweeted a link to the podcast if you want to do it that way. Opie mm-hmm. Radio. It's my last uh, my last tweet. So there you go. Louis C.K. and Pendulette. This one should be a huge podcast. Yeah. And speaking of huge podcasts, I see little Jimmy Norton's. We're looking at the numbers right now. Is doing very well. Climbing the charts. Jim Norton uh, Hates Animals is doing very well. That's from a few weeks ago. And uh, Bob Kelly Pukin doing very well, and then you got this week's uh, podcast that just just uh, just uh, hit online. Penn Gillette and Louis C.K. So uh, that's that. a good one. All right. Oh yeah. Uh, speaking of uh, funny people, yeah, Jerry Seinfeld. You got the Jerry Seinfeld clip from yesterday. We should have got to that, but he's a funny guy. Pat Cooper uh, took up a lot of time with his hate. Oh yeah, with his hate, <laughs> his unbridled disdain of everyone. Dignity, <laughs> dignity, and honor. and honor. You need dignity. Yeah, <laughs> oh, boy. eighty-five. Uh, you know, everyone gets a pass at eighty-five. <laughs> if he if he lives long enough, he'll he'll hate us. We're not stupid. We oh, know. Oh yeah, yeah. We know how this works. He'll hate us. He's, right. Yes, he's burnt every bridge he's ever made. <laughs> we know how this works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when someone comes uh, from the other side to spew some hate, you just n- know it's a matter of time before <clears throat> it happens to you. Yep. That's just how things work in the world. Yeah. So Jerry Seinfeld, is he has a wonderful uh, web series called Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. I'm all in. I love, uh, I love it. It's very good. I've seen every single um, episode. And he sat down for a little interview, and these fucking losers out there that are all just trying to find something... An angle for themselves, huh? Right. So, um, well, why don't we just play it? Why don't we just get right into it? So, oh, is this from CBS? Uh, BuzzFeed had something to do with it. Yeah, I think it's one of those joint. Or, isn't it from Gawker? No, Gawker N- wrote an article. Oh, wait till you uh, read the, about it. Wait till you yeah. see the Gawker. Uh, oh, I article. think. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Gawker. Wonderful. Gawker took this clip and then took an opinion and did their. Of course editorial. they did. Right. Always. Gawker uh, stinks. So uh, they're sitting down to talk to Jerry Seinfeld. I have noticed that most of the guests are mostly white males of 22 episodes. Yeah, that you've let's had. get into that. No, I- <laughs> <laughs> Pause. Uh, Pause. Nice. Bravo to Jerry Seinfeld. Nice, yeah. That's how right you. Away. That's how you deal with these assholes. Who actually said that to him? Who's that guy? He's from BuzzFeed. Mm. Yeah, and yeah, and he doesn't. As the clip goes on, he takes no ownership of the question. Why would he? But that's even more like, to, if you're going to ask the question. Uh huh. Ask it. Right. Like, don't ask the question. Well, There's so a you question can. floating. Oh, it's not me. There's a question floating around out there. I'll just grab yeah. it for a second and throw it at you. Yeah, it's just this, this <laughs> cowardly, like, ambiguity. Yeah. Right. Why? What's, what's the issue? They're mostly white males. Right. How, let's see your fucking staff. Right. Let's see your fucking staff. Mm. How many people on your board of directors are black compared right. to white? Let's see how many editorial mm. uh, folks over at Gawker uh, are black or not white. Uh, uh, and in the end, it's not... It's no one's business. Who cares? If Jerry Seinfeld wants to do a web series and he decides he <laughs> wants to just put all white people on it, which he 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 didn't, by the way. Yeah. Then that's that's <clears throat> his prerogative. Yeah, you, you put Chris Rock on there, huh? Yeah, and also Mario Joyner. And it's not about putting white. He's just putting people he knows who are funny right, on it. Right. Oh, right. he doesn't think blacks are right. funny. Uh, Why is there an agenda? Maybe Chappelle said no. Yeah, yeah. Do you ever think yeah. of that? Maybe he asked Dave and he said no. Well, right. he, he has Chris Rock on there and he has, uh, I forgot the guy's fucking name. He was in the um, uh, Colin Quinn episode. Jimmy would know him, too. Mario Joyner. Yeah, oh, you Mario said that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I apologize. Right. I apologize. Yeah. I was thinking of something else, uh, what you were saying. Yeah, and and, and, and uh, George George Wallace, I hate to bre- break it to these dummies, but George Wallace and Mario Joyner are two of Seinfeld's closest friends. Yeah. It's, like, it's just so irritating to hear that question. It's and this all started with the SNL thing. It turns Amazing. out that Black Broad they, uh, they hired or whatever is really funny. Okay. Yeah. But they were forced to do that. Right. In the end, they were forced to do that. Yeah. 
So now that happens. So now everyone's like, okay, where can we go next? Who else is not using minorities uh, or Asians or black people? So fucking ridiculous. It worked out in SNL's favor in the end, but they were forced to do that. Can Everyone you, knows it. Can you imagine this pussy saying that to a black guest? Uh-huh. Yeah, right. It wouldn't happen. Right. Uh, continue. Yeah, Jerry. But Jerry, you know, gets right into this oh, right away. That. No, I, but, but you, you take a look over here, Peter. What do you see? A lot of, a lot of whiteies. What's going on here? But, but I, you, oh, this really pisses me off. But well, go no, ahead. No, no, I, I, really oh. pisses me off. Well, uh, that's okay. I'm go sorry. ahead. But you made a comment on the Tina Fey episode that I yeah. thought was interesting that I'd, I'd like to get your thoughts on a little bit more. You said you were talking to her and you said something about the female comedians. It's oh, a struggle it's for them to balance their feminine projections with their comedic goals. Yes. And in the context of comedy, not gender diverse, I just want to know what you meant by that. Well, I was kind of curious what it's like to be a woman in comedy as opposed to a man there's a little bit of a difference <clears throat> and I thought that might be an interesting thing to discuss from her perspective she's so successful at it and I'm just wondering how she looked at it if she even thought about it and she kinda gave me the yeah. answer which is yeah you do have to think about that but you know it's just another thing to think about okay All right. fair enough now you but there were a lot of things about uh, comedians of cars in the beginning the first ten I did I think were all white males and people were writing all about that, which I, I, <laughs> part of the reason why I asked that people had uh, tweeted at me when I said I'm interviewing with Jerry Seinfeld. Oh, okay, ask him about their gender diversity. Uh, I mean, diversity. people uh. think it's it's the census or something. I mean, this has got to represent the the actual pie chart of, of of America. Who cares? It's just funny, you know. Funny is the, is the is the world that I live in. You're funny. I'm interested. You're not funny. I'm not interested. Okay. And, and I have no interest in gender or race or anything like that. But everyone else is kind of with their little calculating. Is this the exact right mix? You know, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that's uh, to me it's anti-comedy. It's okay. anti-comedy. It's it's more about you know PC nonsense okay. than Boy. are you making us laugh or not? Right, right. Good for you, Jerry yeah. Seinfeld. Good for you. And, and by the way. Most of his audience for his show was just it was white people watching it. That was his yeah. his show, mm. and I, he's not. Do, I don't think he's doing any type of a racial thought when he's fucking booking people. Of Jerry course, acting like O'Brien, right? right there. So God, that question annoys me. And, well, and then Gawker went with it. Of I did course. not read the Gawker article yet. No. <laughs> it's brutal. Yeah, it's irritating. It's, 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 Kyle. Yeah, yeah, and it's kind of typical Gawker too. Typical fucking snarky, oh, douchey white guy. God, of course. Like, he basically says that in that clip, right. the implication is that non-white males are not funny. Right. But, that's a, but the guy is, if he's saying that, that's a, it's a lie or it's a purposeful <sighs> misdirection. There's no way you can hear that and be an intelligent person and think that Seinfeld is discounting black talent by saying, I'm interested right. if you're funny. I'm not interested if you're not funny. That guy is using Seinfeld saying that as meaning I haven't had blacks on because they're not funny. Right. And I find that to either be purposely misdirective or stupid. Yeah. What he's really saying is I don't think of it. I just book right. guys doesn't I like even in the think moment. About right. It. Right. If there was... He might have asked Jamie Foxx and Jamie said no or Dave might have said no. Right. Yeah, you don't know. And if there's 8,000 white guys in a row that he has uh, does on his show, it doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter to him. He's just like... This is who's on my show. He never even thinks about yeah. that shit. He, he takes the quote, mm -hmm. you know, I live in, funny is the world I live in, blah, 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 you're funny, you're not funny. And then this guy, his name is Kyle Ch Chaka. Chaka or something, yeah. Something like that. Kyle Ch Chaka. Um, he writes, the quote seems to suggest that any comedian who is not a white male is also not oh, funny, Christ. though he's also likely fed up with the amount of bad comedy he's been forced to sit through in his waning career. Uh, yeah, like that. This this guy's such a cunt. Waning uh, career? What is he talking about? He just had Everyone's a Super talking about Bowl com commercial for his web series. Uh, yeah. and, and Jerry Seinfeld could do whatever the fuck he wants. He has decided yeah, right. not to do much. Of course. And, and he finally came back with this Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee, and it's a huge success. And instead of coming out and doing a lame TV show, he had the biggest show ever. Right. So he wants to just let that go. He did that, that B movie. Like, he does weird little shit that he really yeah. wants to do. And that's what every comic's dream is. Right. This fucking guy who, by the way, doesn't have, like, 
uh, it doesn't even register on the scale of success when compared to Jerry. Is is making judgment and 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 twisting well, words well, around and stuff. Is, uh, that's the world we Asshole. live in. It is. It absolutely go, is. Now. Go look at your Twitter right now. That's the world we uh, yep. live in. But People the, that had no desire or weren't brave enough to right. try to do anything are weren't the ones good that are enough, gonna, weren't brave enough, trying weren't to knock you smart down. enough. Right. And they're the ones that's now the world critiquing. we live in, and and they're in high positions too. I'm a blogger. This, well, but <laughs> Shut it. Gawker is a pretty big website. Yeah. And At least this guy, everyone knows they're fucking assholes. This yeah. guy to you know miss uh, read it like that is yeah. it's unbelievable. Well, it seems to imply just cunty it's, fucking white boy uh, snarky. Douchey language, yeah. and he continues. It's more he goes, which, which is too bad, because Seinfeld is downplaying the work of everyone from Richard Pryor and Bill Cosby <laughs> to Aziz Ansari, Mindy Kaling, and Eddie Huang, who are all in various stages of their own sitcoms hey, that just might turn the, out to be the next could, Seinfeld. Oh. Could you get this guy on the phone? We can try. I don't Let's know try Mi to get him on the phone. Right. I don't know Mindy or Eddie, and I do know Aziz. I would say, it, it, with uh, all due respect, it's not fair to put any of them in a category with prior. Right. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's like, he's, you, you really think in that moment that Jerry Seinfeld is discounting Richard Pryor? Right. If you yeah. believe that, you're a dumb motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's try to get him on the phone what a to dummy. explain himself. It was pretty obvious what Jerry Seinfeld was saying. You don't think he'd have Eddie Murphy on a show if he could? Of course he would. If yeah. Murphy would do it, he'd do it in a second. I would imagine a bunch of guys said no to the, you know, to the show. And it, and if the guy really watched uh, the web series, it's very obvious that Jerry's using a lot of his friends. Yeah. He came up with David Letterman and Jay Leno. They're both on the show. He's very close with Colin Quinn. Colin's on the show. And then these other guys that you didn't even know uh, he was very close with uh, are on the show. They're all his Why? friends. Why most of them are on the, more black friends? Most of them are on are his friends. Chris Rock is a very good uh, friend of Jerry Seinfeld. Yes. Yeah. The exterminator. And then there's a couple he just threw in because they're really hot right now. Yeah. So. Yeah, like Guy Gervais I don't think, and Louie, but he's known all those guys for 20 years. I mean, yeah, he's a Ricky. But I don't think like he's friends with Tina Fey, necessarily. No, no, no. They know each other, and they've probably, right. you know, walk in the same circles. But uh, but there's a lot of guys that are really, truly his friends. He invited a black uh, marathon runner into his house. <laughs> <laughs> That's how... You're getting lazy now. <laughs> <laughs> You're just getting lazy now. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Maybe it was a problem is when he had Michael Richards on, oh. and he made Oh, there laugh factory set out right. the window at a crosswalk. <laughs> <laughs> he did have Michael Richards on. Yeah, of course it was. His yeah. car. He did have Larry David on. They they go way back. They're sure. very good friends. So it's well, obvious that he's going with just mostly his his closest friends. And then yeah. if this thing continues, I think this is the third season already. You know, I'm sure he'll be expanding, and maybe yeah. he'll find some black people. Maybe even an Asian. Who knows? Hey, who knows? Can we have... A, I would love a list of Gawker's contributors. Who I would love to see what percentage of them yep. are black. Right. Or are not snarky white people. Oh, uh, is that the guy? Mm -hmm. He's the worst. I just, uh, look look at, just look at him. These people are just... Oh. Misinformed. Yeah, yeah just a wry look, you know. Just a... Just a a he douchey, looks guilty, like just smug a idiot. Do oh. oh my God, that's him, huh? Yeah, uh, his waning career. Ugh, that really irritates me. This is the guy we're talking about. This guy's just writing a fucking. He looks like he's paper on fifteen years old. Should have loose leaf paper, right? And that should have been in the garbage. Where does this shit come from? Why do people have? The, such where does this shit come now? from? The little entitled baby boys, and they want. Uh, they they want to get to make a splash. We're kind of giving them what they want because that is a non-issue, and yes. that should just be ignored. Right. We just talk about it because it's annoying. Well, unfortunately, it's on Gawker, which a lot of people go yeah. to. It's not some Ugh. out of the way blog. And uh, for the guy to just yeah. twist what Jerry said, it's unbelievable. Well, it appears it seems it, to. Oh, you're the really investigative journalist. You're digging deep. If you <laughs> if you love comedy. I've never thought about what the color of the person was. No. I just didn't no. give a shit. Funny, like, funny's funny, period. That really does uh, transcend any type of racism, right. to tell you the truth. If you, if you think someone's funny, it doesn't matter. You're not watching going, well, he's a funny black guy. He's funny for a black guy. Right. It's like, no, you're just like, no, that's fucking funny. 
Period. Uh, unless you're abroad, you know. Well, broads aren't funny. Yeah, they can't be. No, as funny as we guys. all know that. We certainly do know. Let's that. all be real here. We had to fake it for that documentary. <laughs> <laughs> no girls can be funny. <laughs> yeah, that whole thing is turned around. There was a time women were just brutal to watch on oh, a stage, yeah. but yeah. I truly believe that is completely turned around. There's a lot of funny uh, female comics out there. That was the waste. A lot. Yeah. The waste of time you get met at during the Rodney Dangerfield young comedian specials. And it's like, hey, now here's a uh, here's a very funny young lady. Right. It's like, all right, time to take a piss. Well, I mean, back in the day, Roseanne, she was very funny. It was very rare that Ellen, you would get someone Ellen like DeGeneres, that. Ellen DeGeneres, it might not be yeah. your cup of tea, yeah. but she's very funny. You weren't rolling at Rita Rudner? I never found her <laughs> oh, funny. Oh, God, no. I, I'm trying to remember some of the older uh, female that, comics that I liked. How about that other dikey girl that got in a little jam up with uh, some uh, young girls? Oh Paula Jesus, Paula, Paula Poundstone. Poundstone. She was, she was. Some of her stuff was funny. Yeah, yeah. She was a bit edgy with her comedy. What about the chubby Filipino uh, woman? Cho. Yeah, Margaret Cho. Isn't she Korean? Oh, is she? I don't know. She's one of those. Maybe she's Korean. She's just <laughs> one of those. She's, ca <laughs> <laughs> she's carved out quite the uh, gay niche for herself. I think the gays I, really like her. I'll be honest. I don't know much of her stuff in the end. I don't either. I don't really know much of her stuff, so I, I don't have an opinion on her. Sarah Silverman, but that's more new. I was, I'm trying to think like yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. early 90s and, oh. and the 80s. Don't you uh, automatically think... I said Rosie. Think, oh, yeah. Don't you automatically think, though, like when a woman comic comes up in a club or something, you're like, all right, this... You think like, uh, this better be good. Right. Like you judge them a lot more harshly right. than you do a guy. Uh, you kind of get bumped when there's a, a female. That's yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Used to when the, a female was the middle. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, You're like, ah, oh, oh, God, God. Oh, I want to talk ah. about her period <laughs> and her overbearing mother oh, again. Her mom that wants her to get married. Oh, my God. <laughs> they all did the same bit. That was the same material. The that, that would be a great montage. All the female oh, yeah. comics back in the day doing their period slash I'm like, don't overbearing. worry, Mom, I'm finding a guy. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh shit. <laughs> They because finally most, got away from that. Yeah. Most women you hang out with aren't that fun. Like mo in our lives as guys yeah. growing up, your buddies always made you laugh. Oh yeah. Once in a while you'd have the woman, but most of us didn't have funny female friends growing yep. up. So when you see a woman on stage, like, ugh. Right. And uh, she almost has to prove more to you. But you have to. Women have to yeah. realize too. Part of that is just our experience growing up. Yeah. We didn't have the the type of interactions. It was never other guys. Who told us don't cup a fart and throw it in my face? Right. It was always a girl getting mad at you like that. So when that stops, the attitude about a woman going on stage will still. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're like, why do I have to prove myself? Part of that's just our experience growing mm -hmm. up. Yeah. Let's go, uh, go right. to Matt in Detroit. Matt. Yes, this gawker guy is full of shit. Well, yeah. All right. But my point is, uh, during the Don Rickles episode. Right at the very beginning, Seinfeld says the Mount Rushmore of comedy includes Richard Pryor and Bill Cosby, Don Rickles, and George Carlin. And George Carlin, right. That was the four he mentioned. Right. Yeah, of course. Of course. Mm. Right off the bat. And a lot of, he has a lot of Jews in there, too, but, you know. Okay. I, like I've to... noticed with this web series, it's, I'll say it again, a lot of guys he came up with that he's very close with. And then he went with some old timers yeah, like yeah. Don Rickles and um, Mel Brooks, Mel Brooks, yeah. right? Paul Reiner and Reiner, sure. All right, Matt, thank you. That's it. Sure. I wish we could look this Kyle guy up and see how many <laughs> black people, and it may be oh, a lot. Please. How many black people have been the subjects mm -hmm. of his blogs? Again, it could be eighty percent, but I'm just curious: is he as diverse in his writing? As he would expect or scold sure. uh, somebody I'm for sure not being not. in their web series. I am sure not. They are. Oh. This guy is the same, just type of hypocritical douchebag. Uh, let's try to get him on the phone. See all are the we time. trying? Yeah, we're working on all it. Right, so good. We'll... I, I believe you are. Yeah. Uh, Patrick in Michigan. Patrick. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, no. Just calling about how you know. If you look at it this way, Jerry never brought up the whole the whole race thing to begin with at all. And then this comedy guy just starts listing off all these comedians, Aziz Ansari, um, Mindy, whoever, not because of their talent, but because of their color. So doesn't <laughs> yeah. that make him the one who's Well, racist? that's the liberal fucking way to do it. Right. Yeah. He, he, he basically is, created... That's exactly where we see all these PC assholes have their heads so far up their ass, they don't see 
Yeah. They're creating the problem. Yeah. He, he, thank you. I was just going to say the exact same thing. This guy created a problem that wasn't there. Wasn't even there. Wasn't even there. Holy <laughs> fuck. Who was outraged? No one. <laughs> We're outraged at Jerry. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. We, Seinfeld has gotten criticism. Yes. Oh, fuck the criticism. You know, you don't think he wants Cosby on his show? Of course he does. Maybe right. he hasn't been able to get Bill Cosby yet. Right. All right. Yeah, especially if he thinks he's one of the four greats of all time. Yeah, Pryor's unavailable. Right. Um, <laughs> Carlin, unavailable. Unavailable. Oh. Murphy, probably, you know, Ernie Murphy, probably not doing it. And he did Rickles, so. Let's say hi to Peter on Long Island. Peter. Morning, boys. Good morning, Peter. Oh, delightful. We were talking about female comedians before. I always thought Wendy Liebman never really uh, blossomed into what she could have. I think she's very funny, too. And uh, apart from that, I would marry Amy Schumer in a minute. Yeah, we're not talking marry about her. N we're not really talking about nowadays. We're trying to remember some of the some of right. the female comics from the past that actually were yeah. really funny. Like like Wendy Liebman's a good call because that that's was, a good one. Yeah. Who was that other one that used to hang out with Emo Phillips? That was up. Um, uh, Judy Tenuta. Judy Tenuta. Uh, I didn't uh, get that. I didn't get that uh, act either. Uh, uh, not a fan. <laughs> I didn't get fan. that act either. <laughs> <laughs> Can I hear some Judy Tenuta? Some Judy Tenuta. Just a random clip? Oh, yeah. All right, let's go random. Oh, oh she's got her accordion. Doing the act. Hi, pigs. I don't remember that. You know, my name is Judy. And I have my own religion, Judaism. Is she retarded? Yes. Oh. Soon you will all be my personal love slaves. <laughs> but first, but first, let's go back in time. Oh, Kyoko. You know, I'm trying to lead I'd a normal life. I'd be pissed at this point. Hold on, pause this for a second. Don't Just forget, though, now. this is like eight, I'm oh, guessing early 90s, right? And there was yeah. a, it was a weird yes. kind of avant-garde thing. And... I hear you, but I would be pissed. Yeah, I, I don't know uh, if I would enjoy it. Even in the either, 90s, I'd be, be sitting pissed. there going, <laughs> oh, no. I would be pissed. <laughs> I don't want to be here. <laughs> is there a year on this time or no? Uh, no, not. What do you think this is, early 90s, late I 80s? I think this is late 80s, uh, may maybe even earlier. There's some people there with some fucking I would go wacky to late looking 80s, okay. 80s uh, dudes. All right, we don't have to what? subject ourselves nah, and listeners no, to that shit. That's <laughs> yeah. our losses. Yes, yeah. Uh, 